Okay, have my ubiquity package. Ubiquity, ubiquity, that's right. Um, I got my package, I already cranked it open and I figured I should make a video because, uh, you know, someone might be interested in this. So ubiquity does ship uh, UPS uh, today if you have an account. Um, so it's worth doing that and that's free, I think over a certain amount. But uh, here's the package, so set it up. Packing uh, material, okay. So first thing we got here are the NFC cards, Unify Access, Access card. Let's, uh, ooh, nice. Ooh, that's pretty. What do we got? Gosh, that is one thing about Ubiquity is it's very uh, nostalgic of some Apple, Apple design and, okay, so this feels a little, Flimsy. I was hoping for a more premium feel on that, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, put that back in. And so in this order of the uh, cards, I thought it was 40 bucks for one of them, but uh, thankfully, uh, or 20 bucks for one of them. Thankfully, when you open up the product description, it says you get, uh, I think it's 40 for the uh, 20 bucks or vice versa, 40 for 20. I don't know, that looks like 20 actually. So maybe it was 40 for 20. Okay, so that is NFC cards. Let's uh, put those back in. Nice. There we go. All right, next thing we have is Access Reader Lite. Okay. Uh, this is wrapped in plastic. Sorry, I had a little video malfunction. Uh, so the next thing we have here is the light. Uh, the access reader light. Oh, this thing's tiny. Little itty bitty. Okay, so it looks like, obviously it's PoE. This is the LED like glow ring. It is, it is smaller than I thought. I mean, it almost fits in the palm of my hand. I would say it's about four inches and then we have what looks like a little mounting bracket. It's got a little gasket on it. And instructions and some hardware. And that is it. What's next? Oh, right. I got a uh, PoE adapter because um, I don't have the, um, the wattage out of my PoE Plus uh, switch. So you're supposed to have PoE++ to be able to run the uh, Access Hub because it powers so many other things. So I got the PoE adapter, injector I guess. So you see how that goes. Power cord and then um, it'll uh, go to the Access Hub. Uh, the one I got, it is the uh, 60 watt. Um, there's only one of those. So this is what it looks like. Let's see a power cord. So the idea here is that we will have uh, the LAN get connected. Where is the PoE? Yeah, the PoE um, or the LAN, whatever, I'll figure it out. Uh, connect to the access hub. This connects like any other power brick. And that'll give this access hub um, everything that we need to, uh, to work. So this is the Ubiquiti access hub. So everything pretty much connects to this thing. Let's see if this one's a little easier to open. Ooh, that was satisfying. So we have some instructions. Stuck to the lid. Okay. This is how it comes. Download quick start guide. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. This is what you get. So this is uh, the mounting. Looks like, there it is. Yeah. Let me take this off now. You know, I appreciate this packaging, but some of it is annoying. Not as nice as a one strip package opening. Package packaging. There we go. Might be able to see that better. Uh, this is nice because each one of these, you just click the little button and you can kind of see in there, opens up. That is really satisfying. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is pretty self-explanatory. There's a bunch of videos about what goes into which contacts. Um, but this is why you need so much power for this thing because, so the power goes in here from the, um, from the uh, injector. So 
So come from here, go into there, <clears throat> and then you'll make your connections here and all your devices. So I'm gonna be using a <clears throat> magnetic door latch, um, and that will be under the powered uh, for your lock here. If it was gonna be powered on its own, it'd go into dry, but it would go into one of these. Normally open, normally close. I gotta figure this stuff out. Um, and this is the mounting bracket. Looks like they come with some hardware, two screws and an anchor. Two screws and two anchors together. That goes on the wall. And then this little bracket here, use your, you can see how this um, extends and locks onto that. Nice and secure. This is some um, order documentation. And that'll be it. Um, let me show you my electric latch real quick. So this is what I picked up. So this will get wired. Let me open this up real quick. So this will get wired right to the access hub. And so instead of having to use a, like a magnet door lock, I use this thing. That feels pretty darn robust. I like that. That's nice. So look, you just replace your uh, door strike with uh, this one. So this looks like it's normally closed. Oh, here's the model information. I don't know how many pounds of pressure this one holds. It looks jacked up, look at that. I mean, it's probably some sort of Chinesium metal. But um, this makes it super easy. You don't have to have that uh, huge magnetic lock at the uh, top of the door. And then uh, you just, this looks like it'll fit right inside the existing uh, door frame. Real nice. Wire it up. Here's your plate. And um, makes it a lot easier and less uh, cumbersome. Let me see if there's anything else I want to talk about. I wonder if this thing says how many pounds of force. Oh, there's 1,000 pounds. That is pretty substantial. Um, if you guys want to try that out. So I'm going to get this stuff installed and sort of talk about my system and layout. Um, I sure didn't say anything about what I'm going to be doing with this, but the idea with this stuff is this is my first foray into access control. Obviously, um, I don't know the details of this stuff. I'm figuring it out just like you might be. I plan on using it on a uh, room in my house where I don't want all my kids to be able to get into. Um, it's actually a, a fish room. Uh, that's to say all the filtration and everything for a tank and there's lots of chemicals and lots of things that could uh, disrupt the balance of uh, the reef tank. So I want, I have a door on there and I, it's in the basement and everything's in there and I wanna make sure it stays locked and safe. And uh, I already have a bunch of Unify equipment. So I figured uh, this would be a fun way of having secured access and locking the door, and making sure the kids can't get into it. Um, but I'll post up updates and videos and um, you guys can uh, check it out. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.